everybody, welcome back here to the Mopar Nationwide Series Season 3, race number 22 today. And we're doing some for the first time this season, it's kind of a long-waited time for this to happen, but it finally happened this season, we are going to be making not just left-hand turns, no, 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 we are going to be making right-hand turns today as well, as we are here at Watkins Glen. Yes, our first road course event of the entire season for actually both series, and been kind of lacking them but time to fit one in before uh, we get too far down into the season but here we are today for race 22 of 33 today here in the Mopar HY series for the running of the Zippo 200 now we got 18 laps and it's gonna be interesting what's gonna happen pit strategy could become a uh, factor today but we'll have to wait and see what happens and always some crazy wrecks at this track but nonetheless should be an exciting race for you guys to watch today that's great to go racing here at Watkins Glen. And we head to the back straightaway. As we look at the front row, we're actually going to do the helicopter view. On the pole today, it is the car on the right side right here is the pole sitter today. That is Randy Carpenter, the number 30. Randy has a pole earlier this season. He's in the Auto Track Chevrolet for Turner Scott Motorsports. He is on the pole. 17th in points going into today's race. A guy need a good run. All right, sorry about that, guys. I had to go downstairs for a second. But anyway, Seth Cole is on the uh, outside of the front row. Driver desperately needing a good run. He uh, had an early exit last week at Indianapolis. Dropped himself down to uh, 35th in points. Seth's just trying to scramble to get up in points and try to get a couple wins before the season's over. But you never know what could happen, but he's in a hole right now. Row 2 has James McLeod in the 34 and Justin Williams in the 29. Row 3 has Cody Lamas. And the 54 and the outside him is Aaron Reed in a new color this week in the 18. Comes in here uh, seventh in the points. Needs a bounce back week for sure. Uh, I forgot what row was on. Uh, wow. All right, row four has uh, Danny Wells. Danny comes here fifth in the points. And outside him is Zohar Munn. And round up the uh, top ten is Mike Becker and Michael Kazi. So we'll keep an eye on the guys and everything. I don't want to blabber anymore. Let's get this race underway. Go racing here at Watkins Glen Gentlemen, for 18 laps. Start your the usual Adam Sandler voice we have. He's always here. Big fan of the series, apparently. Uh, big fan of him, so I guess it works out. But the field goes rolling by. We're going to take a look at the starting lineup for today's Zippo 200 here at Watkins Glen. Look at your lineup for today. Zippo 200 here at Watkins Glen. The pace car is coming around the final corner. Green to lead the field down to the green flag. There goes the pace car making the sharp right hand, to their, uh, right hand turn today. It's Randy Carpenter and Seth Cole looking for victories for both drivers. Let's see what they can do if they can stay up front and maybe one of them pick up the victory day here. That's waiting for the green flag. There it is. The green flag is out. And we are racing here at Watkins Glen. Carpenter has a distinct advantage on the inside. Seth trying to make it work on the outside. Couldn't get right there. Carpenter clears for the lead. Battle for second between James McLeod and Seth right there. Seth's battling hard back on McLeod. He might actually clear him. He does. Uh, he kind of went wide in the corner. McLeod has a run still to the inside. they got to be careful coming up here. This spot right here is a horrible spot to try to pass people. McLeod trying to sneak back in line. Without any problems, he goes a little bit wide. He'll give up a spot right there to Justin Williams. Oh, Cody Lomas right there with Aaron Reed. That was close. Justin will move up third. 
McLeod back to fourth, and now Cody Lamas is fifth. Danny Wells making some run or some moves on the bottom right there. I think he just got around Zohar Mundy. He's going after Aaron Reed. That's a guy he's battling for the championship with. Danny's right now trying to take the sixth spot away from Aaron. Don't know if we've had a caution or not. Looks like Wells going to have the advantage. Right now the top five are single foul. The green lights are still on. It's Carpenter Leaf lap number one. Check the back of the pack right now. Here's Tim Walsh back here with Joshua Mudd. Ethan Hamill, and there's Dylan Young in the 64 car. He's not really had a great qualifying effort today. He really needed a good run. Dylan came here six in the points. So it's about the second week in a row he's been in the back. And there's Aaron Williams Jr. right ahead of him. Third, or uh, fourth in points, I should say. Both back here, Dylan and Aaron right now. 38th and 37th. Chris Dollarton, Joshua Osborne, back your teammates. There's Galligan, battling with James Qualls. There's Michael Norman. He's been on a little bit of a slump as of late. He's dropped out of the top ten. He's trying to gain some ground back. Daniel Hummel. There's Charles Jackson. You're out in the NASCAR the game. Inside lab paint scheme. Pick that paint scheme because we all had a lot of fun. Me, him, and a few others on Xbox. We had fun racing at Watkins Boat on that game. So, want him to run that scheme today. Ryan Acosta. There's Joshua Collard. He's running right now. Battling Alex Jones, last week's winner at Indianapolis. Alex second in the points. He's needing to work his way up. We haven't seen the points leaders yet. Oh, there's problems! And he just got turned! Sean Hindley! The points leader is in a wreck! Oh, Daniel Hummel's in it! Dylan Young! Joshua Mudd! Austin Ogo! And Tim Walsh has stopped. And just as we were about to say, where's the points leader? Sean Hindley just got dumped off the final corner. And Hindley and Dylan Young and others are in deep trouble now. It looks like their race are going to be over now. Wow. Well, that was ironic. First and six in the point standings right there. Involved. Saw the 33. Aaron Williams sneak by. I think these guys are going to be racing back. Damage on the 51 of Justin Perry. He's also involved. Alex Jones got by. Looks like everybody else is single file racing back. I don't even know if they're racing back. Randy Carpenter is going to lead him back. It looks like to the caution. But just like that, again, the points leader in this series having problems in a race. This time it's Sean Henley after taking the points lead last week. In trouble today, early on here at Watkins Glens. The leader takes the yellow flag. Wow. Dylan Young and Sean Henley are going to have a pretty long and slow ride back to Pit Road. Henley's car just stopped smoking. I think his car's just turned off. Dylan Young might be in the same position. Joshua Mudd might be make it through. Or might make it back. Austin Ogo. There's Tim Walsh. I think he actually got away. 33 car got very lucky along with these other guys. I saw the 51 was also involved. But uh, hopefully they don't stack up here. That's another update where Richard Johnson was as well. But under caution, it looks like everybody's mainly uh, gotten through. But man. Points leader just like that. Sean Henley, Dylan Young, a couple guys up in the top of the standings in trouble early on here today at Watkins Glen. We gotta go back and take a look and see what happened to those guys to bring out the first caution of the race in the Zippo 200. Alright, here's Sean Henley back here. He wasn't that far ahead of Dylan Young and Aaron Williams in them. He's just riding right here in front of Justin Perry and trying to go around Anthony McCurry. Alright, sorry about that again. But anyway, Henley. We're actually going to rewind because every time I get uh, interrupted, I lose place where I was at. Henley's actually, I think he looks like he's trying to avoid Anthony McCurry. He actually slid off the corner very sideways. Justin Perry just ended up getting right into him. Henley hard head on in the wall. Perry hits him. Steven Gonzalez, I think the one card, barely going to sneak up. Ooh, Steven did get a little piece of it, but I think he's fine. There's second in the points. Alex Jones sneaking by. Joshua Collard and others. And then Daniel Hummel. He had Sean Galligan to his... Outside, he couldn't go anywhere. Had to go right into his own teammate. That's a tough feeling. Aaron Williams barely got there. Dylan Young, nowhere to go. Got hit by Austin Ogo from behind. Joshua Mudd, also nowhere to go. He had the nine car just barely right beside him. He couldn't cut him off. He had to sacrifice himself right there. And Tim Walsh actually just runs into the 60. Guess he had no breaks in the grass. But that's what brought out the first caution right there. And Sean Henley, Dylan Young, not the way they wanted to start this race at all. And that's a tough break for them. Going to really hurt them in the points. We'll go back to live action now. As the leader is Randy Carpenter. 
Well guys, we're back here and split decision on pit stops right here. As you see, a few guys stayed out. Justin Williams, James McLeod. Actually, there's a big chunk of guys. This is about half and half right here, so things are going to get interesting here. As we have a few guys stay out, but pole sitter Randy Carpenter, outside pole sitter Seth Cole will both come down pit road. And get service, but yeah, definitely a split decision right here. A few cars stayed out. We're going to see how this is going to strategize in the end. And it looks like Seth is actually going to beat Randy Carpenter off. He does. So Seth leaves him off. Looks like a bunch of gas and go stops. But what is this going to do now? If some guys are taking tires, this is going to really uh, change everything up. This is what's good about road course races. All the different strategies. And how it's going to play out in the end. But we'll find out soon. If we get, ready to, uh, get ready to go back to the restart here. As the new leader now is actually uh, Justin Williams in the 29. So we get ready to go back to racing. All right, we're getting ready to go back to the restart. Drivers that fell out of the race, Daniel Hummel, Dylan Youngland of 41st, Austin Ogo, Joshua Mudd, and Sean Henley, the points leader, will finish 38th today. Dylan Young, 41st, so the two took a big hit in the points. We'll see how they, uh, we'll see where they end up in points now after this race. But no, definitely Sean will probably end up losing the points lead, but we'll have to wait and see. He had a 10-point lead over Alex Jones, but that definitely is going to change now. As Justin Williams is now the leader, as we're back to green now. James McLeod second, Trent Dunham third, uh, Roy Vaderview fourth, Anthony Curry fifth, Daniel Day sixth, Jake Rogers seventh, Alex Jones second in points is now eighth, Joshua Collar ninth, and Justin Perry with the damage is tenth. So now we're going to see what these guys are going to pit. As things are really going to shuffle up now. As we got half the field out this pitted and half the field stayed out. We'll see if maybe some of these guys maybe going to try to make it. I need one stop race. At the back, I look back to the first side by side race. I saw at the moment was Randy Carpenter and Seth Cole actually were racing for it. They still are going at it. Oh, Anthony McCurry's in the grass. There's Carpenter. He was second off pit road. And Seth won the battle off, but Randy's trying to make his move back around the 52, and he does. Seth restarted in 15th place, so 14 cars stayed out. Some include Sean Galligan, Aaron Williams, Jack Richards. I think I said Charles Jackson earlier in the 20. I meant to say Jack Richards. I don't even know. I was thinking of Charles, but anyway. Uh, Ryan Acosta, and then we basically read off the top 10. Don't think anybody else really stayed out. Right now, the 29 car, Justin Williams. Good to see him running up front right now in that Menards Ream Chevrolet. Justin raced his way into the uh, Mopar Nationwide Series Showdown, the race. Basically, the all-star race for the Nationwide Series. He's been getting a wreck, I believe, but that's been basically his highlight of the season. Hasn't really got a chance to win a race yet, but he's in good position today. Running good, leads the laps for the first time. Really running well today. He's in 21st in the standings. And these are some of the first laps he's led. He only had led one lap before today's race, so these are the first times we've really have seen this 29 car up front leading in the Mopar Nationwide Series. Guy right behind him, though, is actually really go back to the next couple. James McLeod and Trent Dunham. A couple guys really wanted to win a race. Trent's only won one time in his whole career. James McLeod's been here for a while. Has never won in the Mopar Nationwide Series. He's had a couple of close occasions, though, lately. Rohit Vader, it looks like these guys are pitting now, just talking about them. Let's we'll see who actually stays out. They're all making that sharp turn. Ooh, Alex Jones, Joshua Collard, you have to be careful. Jake Rogers actually stayed out. So not everybody that stayed out have pitted yet. Rogers stays out, Brian Acosta stays out, Aaron Williams stays out, and then it's the rest of the leaders. It's Randy Carpenter and them are starting to really work their way past 33 cars and start falling back now. He was running in the back. The faster cars are working their way to the front. Cody Lamas is up here. Mike Becker is going under Danny Wells. Chris Kyle and Michael Cosio are battling. There's Richard Johnson. He's right outside of the top 10, third in points. Johnson's worked his way up as well. There's Luke Walker, Brody Banta, and there's Charles Jackson. He's at the 16. Ha. Aaron Reed, Cole Daly, there's Sam Young, go back a couple of the guys we already talked about, Dollarton, Zohar Madden, there's the 15 of Michael Walton, and then we go back a little bit more, there's Trent Dunham, he pitted, Roy Vaderview's going to be out second, Justin Williams had a horrible stop, speaking of horrible stop, James McLeod starts hopping, oh, I don't know what that was about, and then there's everybody else, Jake Rogers is now coming down pit road, should it see the 09, the 33 as well? Actually, oh, there he goes. Oh, Seth Cole is pinned again. 
Cody Lamas. Oh, we got a lot of guys pitting now. Oh, some of these guys that pitted on under the caution are pitting again. Huh. I don't know about that. We got a battle right here. Joshua Collard and Daniel Day. Yikes. Be careful. Collard had to give that up big time. Collard had a horrible stop back there. And now Randy Carpenter's back for the lead. Danny Wells, second. Danny would love to get up there and lead a lap. Bonus points are very crucial. Every point matters. It's worked way up to second at Canadian Tires Chevrolet. Michael Cosby's now third. There's a Lodge Jam back here for fourth. Charles Jackson and Brody Banjo are battling for it. Aaron Reed's also up here. Ooh, we gotta be careful right here. It's getting really tight right in this turn. Ooh, Charles Jackson gonna turn Brody! Oh, Sam Young in the tire barrier. They're all gonna actually continue on. Wow. Other than Sam Young, wow, that was a tough break. Brody Banton's gonna continue on. Is the caution out now? As everybody's coming off pit road. The caution is out. Ooh. What is this gonna do? Wow. Where's Carpenter? Randy Carpenter is the race leader. Looking for him. There he is. Well, this is really going to jumble things up. We're in the middle of pit stop again. We're just past halfway, and the caution is out. That is not what Randy Carpenter did not want to see in this race. He had a good sized lead, and now you have to figure out what the heck am I going to do now? These guys have stayed out. I don't know how this is going to do for them. Aaron Reed, Charles Jackson dodged a bullet, but Brody Banjo went for a spin, and Sam Young was just an innocent victim. Now that Fire Energy Toyota Camry setting on pit road. Both the young brothers have had trouble today. Dylan earlier, and now Sam got involved in a wreck. He took a hit in the tire barrier today. But the caution is out, and possibly could be the new race leaders right here. Trent Dunham in the Bass Pro Chevrolet could be the new race leader. Let's see, let's see where he's going to be across the line. Uh, Trent says his 16th, so Trent could be in a really good spot. With all the other guys that pitted, they're all racing back to get to uh, take the yellow. We're under caution for the second time today as a uh, wreck that started between Brody Banta and Charles Jackson caused a uh, couple car wreck, I guess about two or three cars. That also includes Sam Young and probably taken out early in today's race. Actually halfway through this race, but anyway. Randy Carpenter's your leader. Let's go check the replay out and see what happened exactly to bring out the caution. Now these two are battling side by side for basically this whole lap coming up to this spot. But something had to give. Banta tried to slide right into Charles Jackson lane. He didn't give him any room though, but Jackson, guess wasn't really happy with that. Turns the four car. Banta's actually going to block the whole entire track. And Sam Young's just trying to avoid a hit in the door, right into the tire barrier. Just barely clipped it. Smoke erupts. Aaron Reed just narrowly mm -hmm. escapes. Man. Everybody else had to woe up and. Unfortunately, the one that took the big hit out of this was the 66 of Sam Young. His race is more than likely over with all the smoke. But this really throws a loophole in for the leaders. As we were just in the middle of green flag pit stops, strategies will once again be shuffled once again. What's going to happen now? Let's go see if any pit stops happen before we go back to the restart here at Watkins Glen. Alright, and we're looking back at live action. Here come some of the guys that did not pit right then coming down pit road. But some are also staying out. Aaron Reed, Joshua Osborne, James Qualls, and a couple others are staying out. Carpenter will bring Danny Wells and a couple others down pit road. I have no idea why it's black right there. I just heard something back there. I have no idea what I heard. I guess I was hearing things. I heard, thought I heard somebody wrecking. But Randy Carpenter leads them down for the guys that are pitting. Carpenter with the very first pit stall. He's going to get tires for the first time, like a lot of these guys. Here comes Justin Williams back there. He was way back there. A lot of these guys may be topping off. And see what they do. And Danny Wells is not going to win off pit road, I don't think. Nope, he had to give it up. Justin Williams, Trent Dunham. Here comes everybody else. Oh, James McLeod got into his teammate. But these guys are raising a fast off pit road right there. Very tight pit road. But, that is it for this round. But we got some guys that stayed out. So now the new race leader, Aaron Reed. Reed gets a bonus point for the 18. Really big for him. He's going to be leading on the restart. Let's get ready to go back to action here at Watkins Glen. Alright, we're getting ready back to the restart. Pace car's going to head off. Aaron Reed, Joshua Osborne, James Qualls, Sohar Munn, Michael Norman, Ethan Hamill, uh, Michael Walton, Steven Gonzalez, 
see what else we got. Seth Cole and Cody Lamas, I believe, are the top ten. Update the field. Sam Young was the only car to drop out of the race. He only up 37 today. Last well, ironic, 666 right next to each other. Oh. Anyway. Eric Reed will lead him back down to the green flag, like we documented. Reed did lead a lap. So that's a bonus point for the 18, who could easily get back in the top five in the points. He's looking for his first win ever. He's trying to get back in this battle for the championship. He's admired 33 points back, so he needs a good run today. Like so are mine and James Paul are battling hard for third. Joshua Osborne had a great chance to go up there. That 81 car won last season at Road America with Jake Rogers. That car has been on the road courses, so the 81 does show up here. Osborne looking really strong right now. Another dodge back there. Ethan Hamill's looking good. He's battling with Michael Norman for the fifth spot. Norman's going to win that one. Ooh, somebody went way wide. Who was it? That was Richard Johnson. He just lost a couple of spots. And here comes Randy Carpenter storming through the field once again. Carpenter restarted in 13th place. He gained a couple of spots, I believe. He tried to get Johnson on the outside. That wasn't going to work. Let's keep it on the 30 car. And Danny Wells, he got have fresh tires. This guy might actually be pitting soon. Steven Gonzalez. Look at the damage on that Mississippi Chevrolet. Got a lot of right side damage. And we do have guys coming to pit road. All the leaders are coming down. Ooh, that's close. Seth Cole. Is now the new race leaders. They're three, uh, yeah, they're three wide back there. Woo. Trent Dunham and Jake Rogers and Justin Williams are all racing hard, three wide. And that shuffles the lead over to Seth. Cody Lamas is now second. There's Richard Johnson. He's jumping third, and Carpenter's back up in the top five again in fourth. And Luke Walker, good run for him in that two car, running fifth. Danny Wells is battling with Justin Williams right now. He's not going to give that spot up easily, I don't think. And he still knows he's racing his brother for the championship. So, Danny's definitely not going to give a spot up to one of those Williams. Jake Rogers, Trent Dunham battling hard right here. I believe this is for 8th place, I think. Justin Williams just really screwed up his corner. Trent's on the really bad line right now. The high side not where you want to be. He might try to slide up in front of Charles Jackson. He have to give up a spot to Jake Rogers, I believe. Go back up to the front, though. This is what Seth Cole has wanted to see. Don't know if he's going to have to pit again. These guys might have to pit one more time. I'm not sure. Or they might be able to stretch it. We'll have to see. See if anybody pits this time. Look up through here. Is anybody going to make a dive to pit road? It doesn't appear that anybody's pitting. As we continue on, Seth's still the race leader. We got a battle hit it up for a heating for second place up. I couldn't have said that sentence any worse than I did. Steven is right there, but the battle for second is starting to get close. Richard Johnson's closing in on Cody Lamas. Randy Carpenter's trying to put ground on Luke Walker back there. And Seth continues to lead. Mostly getting single foul back here. The first battler here is Trent Dunham. He's still falling back. Trent's trying to fall in line, but he keeps getting kicked to the outside. I don't think he's going to let Acosta do that to him. He's going to fall right there. He's going to keep 10th place. Acosta really held up. Michael Cozzi and Anthony McCurry, and here comes the car trying to make ground back up. That's that 34, James McLeod. There's a bunch of Turner cars right there, McCurry, McLeod, and Dally. James McLeod been an awful pit stop, he keeps losing ground, and the caution didn't help him out either. So McLeod trying to work his way back into the top 10. McCurry having a good run right now in the 38, right outside the top 10. McCurry's 11th in points, fell out of the top 10, so he needs a good run to get back in there. Ooh, Michael Cozzi just about got into him. But right now, Seth continues to lead as we have four laps to go here. Well, these guys have to make one last pit stop. And they are catching Steven Gonzalez. He's in the S's right now, just exiting. And there's Seth and the rest of the pack coming up on him. He's really far back. I think, actually, Steven got some of his damage fixed. He's in 36. So he should be up to speed, just really far back. So hopefully he's not going to be a problem right there. Here's the guys that pitted. There's Aaron Reed. He was the first car to come down pit road that time. He's running right now in the 29th position. So these guys are hoping these guys have to pit up here. Hopefully not one to get a caution. Like right there, Tim Walsh, Sean Galligan. Oh, Justin Perry. And just like that, the caution's out. Okay, that's scary. The second time I've done that in that corner and just caught the wreck. Galligan, Justin Perry, and Tim Walsh just... Big time hit the barrier, wow. As we go back to the line, John, or Steven Gonzalez is going to stay on the lead lap. Seth will lead him back. But, three laps to go now. I think we'll have another chance at a restart. 
Not even one lap shootout, but... I don't think these guys are going to pit, but if they do, I don't know what they're thinking. But wow, Sean Galligan and others just took a huge hit. There's Tim Walsh's car destroyed in the 77. There's Galligan's car. Had a good run at Indianapolis. Got himself in the top 10 points in ninth. This is definitely not going to help the three team. And Justin Perry, second wreck of the day. Not what he was looking for either, but that West Coast Chevrolet is definitely destroyed. There's a couple RCR cars that were taken out right there and one of the Kyle Busch cars. So, tough break for those guys, but good break for the guys that pitted. They needed to catch up. Hopefully these other guys will have to pit. We don't know though, but we'll have to find out if they made the right choice by pitting or not. Seth Cole is the race leader. Let's go back to the seat. What brought out the caution for the third time today? And will these guys have to make a pit stop before the conclusion of this race? Same, basically the same scenario as earlier. Tim Walsh is in that situation with Brody Banch and Charles Jackson. He swings it wide. He tries to get back on the curb, back on the racetrack. Sean Galligan is there. Nothing either one of them could have done. They hook up and, man, they hit the tire barrier very hard. And look at Walsh's car get up in the air. And Justin Perry trying to swing wide. Nowhere to go. Runs into the 77 and the 3. Sends the 77 fine. Looks very similar how uh, much of the impact in that force was. Just how bad it looked like the Sam Hornish, Jeff Gordon, Jeff Burden wreck about a corner later. That's how bad that looked right there. But that's a tough break for those three right there. Speaking of the three, Gallagher, like I said, top 10 in points. He did not need that. He just worked his way back in the top 10. He's had a couple of bad weeks as of late. He had a good one last week. And Justin Perry with a strong start in the series. Starting to have a little bit of bad luck. And Tim Walsh just can't buy a good run sometimes. So tough break for those three guys. But that's why we're under caution. We're going to go back now and see if any of these guys have to make pit stops or if any of these guys might possibly pick up the win that pitted earlier. We'll have to wait and see. As Seth Cole in the 52 is your race leader here at Watkins Glen. And you guys, I do not believe this. The leaders, Seth Cole, Cody Lamas, Richard Johnson, are pitting when they're coming to line. It'll be two laps to go. I don't know why, especially for Seth. He is a native of New York. I don't know why he's pitting. I just, this is a home track right here, basically, for Seth. I can't believe he's actually pitting. I figured they would go for it. Richard Johnson, he had a good points day going. He's pitting. I mean, I don't understand why. And I think it's only these four cars that pitted. And a pattern that's happened a lot in this, my series, I guess, lately. The pole sitter ends up leading again. I don't know how this keeps happening. But Randy Carpenter now is leading again. I'm pretty sure we'll have a one-lap shootout. But I'm still kind of confused by why these guys decided to pit. Give up all that track position just to finish in the back. But I'm not sure. We're going to fast forward and get to the end of this and see if they're going to have a one lap shootout or if this race is indeed over. Well guys, yes you see it's lap 1818. For some reason we are not going to go back to the green flag. I guess there's too much debris. And a turn of events, Seth Cole and others were up there leading. Pitted a lap ago. The white flag has been displayed and Randy Carpenter, the pole sitter, is back out front. And he is about to cruise to his first ever Mopar Nationwide Series victory from the pole. I mean, this guy kept coming back from adversity today and had all kinds of pit road uh, problems. Timing was awful, but he didn't end up rallying it back and basically get the win handed to him after he was a dominant car, car earlier on today. So Randy Carpenter in the 30 team. In the second week in a row for a Turner Scott Motorsports car, Alex Jones last week in the 31. Now this week, Randy Carpenter. Both the young drivers at Turner Scott are going to pick up their first win. Today it's Randy Carpenter in the 30. He picks up his first win today here in the Mopar Nationwide Series and wins here at Watkins Glen from the pole. Well, I guess that's one way to change some stuff up. But Carpenter is your winner today as the rest of the field comes uh, going by the start-finish line. And now we are done. And Randy Carpenter is officially your winner today here at Watkins Glen. So congrats to him, but again, another questionable call by Seth and Cody, Richard, Luke, all those guys that stayed out, and then they ended up pitting. I'm not sure what happened there, but I guess they just couldn't make it and cruise around a couple laps. I guess they just had to go for it. I guess they thought more people were going to come down, but it didn't happen. So Carpenter wins. Danny Wells, that five car, ends up second today. Fifth in points. Huge day for Danny points. Jake Rogers, great run for him in third. Justin Williams bounced back for fourth, one of his better runs of the season. Charles Jackson, good run for him in fifth after being involved in a wreck. 
Trent Dunham, 6th, Ryan Acosta, 7th, Anthony Curry, 8th, Michael Kozik, 9th, and James McLeod rounds out your top 10. You got Daniel Day, Joshua Collard, Aaron Williams Jr. is up 13th, Cole Daly, Mike Becker, Rowett Vaderview, Brody Vanta, Chris Dollars, and Alex Jones, second in points, is up 19th. And Jack Richards ends up rounding out the top 20 in the 20 car. I think you take a look at the rest of your field. Aaron Reed, 22nd. James Qualls was 10th in points coming to days racing. He's up 24th. Uh, look down a little bit more. Um, Richard Johnson is up 30th. Seth Cole, 31st. Cody Lamas, Luke Walker, just 30th through 33rd. I just, I don't know. I don't know why they did that. That's just a tough break, though. They were one, I think they were first, second, third, and fifth, I believe. Carpenter was fourth, but I don't know. I was still, I wonder why they did that, but a tough break for them. Johnson really hurt himself in points, too. I mean, third in points, so I don't know. That was a questionable decision on that 28 team. And is that leading the race, Cody? I mean, none of them took a chance, I guess. I guess they couldn't make it, but I don't know. That's going to be something to look over, I guess, for next week and wonder what happened. I believe Danny Wells just ran out of gas. Probably did. Oh, that's Danny cut it close then. If he just ran out. I believe he's out. Oh yeah, Danny just ran out of gas. Well, Danny made it just enough. He had one lap to the good, it looks like. But anyway, that's it for today's race. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, and keep up the series. Randy Carpenter is your winner today. Congrats on your first career, uh, first career Mopar Nationwide Series victory. As my speaking is getting worse today, it's just one of those days, I guess. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's race. Congrats, Randy, on the win, first career win, another first-time winner of the season. Second week in a row, we had a first-time winner from the Turner Scott Stable. Alex Jones last week at Indy. This week, Randy Carpenter in the 30 wins today at Watkins Glen. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys for the cup race here at Watkins Glen, hopefully soon. And stay tuned for the Indy Annapolis weekend finishing up. It'll have the cup race up soon. But, yeah, the thanks for watching, guys, and remember to comment and give it a like or a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time here. And, yeah, congrats one more time to Randy Carpenter on the win, and I'll see you guys for the cup race at Watkins Glen.